Alright, um. Hold on one second. <clears throat> this is the boomerang scratch. Um, the camera quality kind of sucks. So, there are plenty of boomerang tutorials. Actually, there's, yeah, there's a decent amount, I think. There's one particular that I learned pretty good from. Uh, Eric, I think dude's name is. Anyways, um, basically here's how the scratch is broken down. It's a mirrored scratch. Um, what you're doing, there's two parts to it. What you're doing in the first half, you're mirroring in the second half. Um, now we're going to start with the fader. The way with this trick, the way this works is pretty much the first half would be forward, back, click. Actually, you know what? I'm going to say open, close, click. And then the second half would be the same thing. Open, close, click. So again, that'd be open, close, click. Open, close, click click open close click open close click so you're just tapping on it you know open close tap open close tap open close tap open close tap the first half with the record movement you're going to be going forward back forward so it'll be like this and then the second half is back forward back so forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. And you're going to be doing this on top of it. So it's going to be like this. Forward, back, tap. Back, forward, tap. Forward, back, tap. Back, forward, tap. Do it really slow. faster all right so forward back tap forward back tap and forward back forward back forward back forward back tap forward back tap forward back forward back forward back here's how it sounds with music get better at it you can just like any other scratch you can accent it um, you know with with hand control and with the fader pretty much mostly hand control to change the pitch from high to low so or start off low and bring it up high Sounds of music. Now 
that's the boomerangs.